we'll go over five factors that uh, will increase or decrease the amount of time it takes for the gas to have effect. These are uh, clinically useful for you because they can help you predict how quickly it will take for your gas to have effect on the patient. So the first one being, which we've just talked about, is the gas solubility. So the lower the solubility of the gas, the faster onset time it will have. And this is because the blood saturates more quickly at low solubilities. And I will show you down here. Next, the concentration of the inspired gas, so the gas that you deliver to the patient. Increasing your percent gas will make for faster onset time. Minute ventilation is important. your lungs being the delivery mechanism of the inhalational anesthetic to your blood. So the more of that drug that you breathe in by increasing your minute ventilation, the faster your drug onset will be. Your cardiac output, the effects of this are perhaps not what you would initially think, and it's actually decreased cardiac output makes for faster onset. Or if you were to increase your cardiac output, your drug would take effect even slower, which is counterintuitive, so I'll show you a diagram of that as well. And lastly, fresh gas flow from your anesthetic machine. Um, so increasing your fresh gas flow will make for faster onset. And I'm not going to talk about the um, mechanism behind this more than just to say that this is to maintain the uh, concentration of the gas in your circuit. So you actually have to think about how much gas is coming out of your vaporizer and is available to the patient circulating through the circuit. So increasing your fresh gas flow will maintain your circuit gas.